Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video vlog early in the morning. The early morning vlog. Got the OnePlus 10 Pro, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Wanted to give you an update. Been using this device for three days now. Was using the OnePlus 9 Pro, which is my second favorite OnePlus device next to the OnePlus 7 Pro. And this is my third favorite OnePlus device. It has been a joy, a great experience day in and day out since bringing it in. I obviously have used other smartphones uh, in between using this device, which is part of what I do since I review smartphones. Uh, but yeah, I was using the OnePlus 9 Pro for about, I think, five or six days. And uh, since I'm getting closer to choosing my overall king smartphone for 2022, I want to get reacquainted with the smartphones that are going to be in that conversation. So the OnePlus 10 Pro is being utilized once again and uh, still the same experience that I had when I first brought it in. Thumbs up. If you were to ask me if you should spend your hard-earned money on the 10 Pro, in my opinion, I would say yes. Now for me, connectivity here uh, outside of the Portland metropolitan area, I live on the outskirts. Um, uh, it's been great. Phone calls going out, coming in. Texting going out, coming in. No issues whatsoever. Now, as far as the power underneath the hood, this device is truly a powerhouse smartphone. We got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and I've had no issues with performance, functionality, just doing what I do day in and day out, editing, processing, uploading to YouTube, utilizing PowerDirector when it comes to creating content, going into uh, my apps, my music player, my movie player, utilizing all those different apps that I love to enjoy and um, use every day outside of just some web browsing, phone calls, texting, uh, multitasking, creating content in the background, uh, the processing uh, part of it, and still doing other things on, on my OnePlus 10 Pro. Whether it's taking in a phone call, uh, whether it, it's, it's finishing a movie that I started, uh, maybe doing homework for the channel, uh, the hardware as far as the look and design, it's a beautiful bold design, uh, no creaks, no squeaks, just solid in hand. Uh, yeah, really digging the, the look, I love the fact that the volume uh, rocker uh, is opposite side on the left hand side and the power button's on the other side, which is the right hand side and right above that you have the alert slider, which is one of my favorite functionalities. Uh, all that working the way it should. The display is beautiful. Slight curve to the display. Uh, I got a film screen protector on there right now. I will leave a link down below in the description for uh, uh, the case that I'm using from UAG and the screen protector. I'm going to add some photos in so you can check those out. Uh, and you can give me your opinion on the photos from the OnePlus 10 Pro that I took in the beginning and that I recently have taken. Uh, as far as video clips, this is it. In the dark, a little cloudy out there uh, at 1080p60. I do have videos that I shot during the day uh, when I first brought this device in, so you can go check those out. Uh, but the cameras are amazing, amazing cameras. Uh, on the rear, on the front, I think that's probably my only little uh, complaint. It's not a huge complaint, but at 1080p 30, uh, I think OnePlus could have at least, you know, you know, put in 1080p 60 frames. All you get is 1080p 30, and it's a great front-facing camera, whether you're shooting video or taking pictures. Uh, but for a flagship, I mean, 4K 30. 60 would have been great. 1080p 60. Okay, I'll take that. But yeah, 1080p 30. I'm going to complain about that. But yet knowing that it gets the job done. Okay, it gets the job done. Um, 
But yeah, overall the cameras are great as an individual device. Remember, I'm talking about the 10 Pro as a solo device, not in comparison to any other device. And if you can find a great deal, yes, it's worth picking up. It's the second time I've said that. Battery life, I'll throw some screenshots. You can check out battery life. Uh, they will definitely tell the story, but it definitely gets it done. And what I dig about the OnePlus 10 Pro, if you're utilizing the cable and the wall charger, uh, from OnePlus, man, definitely getting some fast charging. <laughs> definitely getting that. Uh, uh, the battery life has been great. The speakers, definitely, definitely uh, not the loudest, but they sound great, and that's what's important. So visually, when I'm watching movies or videos, and, and getting the audio that's being fed into my ears from the OnePlus 10 Pro, definitely getting the job done, man. So let me know your thoughts on this update on the OnePlus 10 Pro. If you have any questions, anything I might have missed, please leave that down below in the comment section. I'm sure I missed something. I, I typically always do. Uh, but uh, thank you for coming out by and checking out the video. Uh, and uh, have a blessed day. Stay safe and healthy. And uh, happy holidays, man.